Hello, we're Kirk 37 here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Harry, Little Harry Potter Night Bus set. The set is 403 pieces, so, and it has three minifigures in it, so let's get into it. So here we have all three of the minifigures in the set. We got Stan Shunpike. Um, we got, we got his hat, which is a pretty cool hat. Um, no alternate face print, but he does have this one face, which is more of an angry Face, not very angry though, kind of stern, I guess. Um, his suit is really cool, really good blue color, um, plain blue legs, um, and I like the print um, with that thing on it, that's really cool. Um, Harry Potter here, you get normal Harry Potter hair and fit and face with alternate smiling face print compared to his more stern look. Um, I don't I think this is new, it might not be, but it probably is. Um, new shirt print. Well, to this wave, I mean. And then, um, he does have, um, mid legs, mid side legs, instead of short legs, like last year's. And this is more when he's a teenager, and not when he is a child. So, that's why they gave him those. And then you have the bus driver, Ernie Prang. Um, I really like this half bald, well, balding hair print, kinda. You got hair on the sides, but bald on, on the top. Got a surprised look, kinda, and no alternate face there. But he does have um, a shirt print, which is very cool. And not much on the back, a wrinkle, but that's pretty much for everybody. Um, here you have Harry Potter's luggage case. Nothing in it, though. It's, it's kind of sad. And, um, yeah, so let's take a look at the night bus now. So here it is. This is one of my favorite things from Harry Potter. Um, so... Let's take a look at the top level. There's three levels on this. Let's take a look at the top one. And in there you can see there is a newspaper. Let's get that out right now. And it said, The Boy Who Lived. So that's pretty cool. Um, so nothing really else in there. But I do like how the technique, how they did this. Um, this window is on kind of a slant here which is kind of cool, because it's on one of these pieces that you can move up and down, but they have it on a slant. So when you place it on there, on the slant, it makes it look like the windows are rounded instead of flat, which I think is a great technique, great use of design. And these pieces right here, pull them in there. So that's very, very cool. Let's pull this part off to get a look inside the rest of the bus. So um, this wall right here pulls out, where you can see a bed. It moves on this railing here. The reason for that is because in the movie, when you move the bus, the bed moves. So you can lay any figure in there pretty much. Um, they would fit. You can just lay them in there under the bed covers. Kind of slide them in there and it would work. I th Actually, I think it would only work for people with mid legs, but it might work for other people. Well, it would work for other people, they would just be sticking out a little bit more. But anyway, so you also have the chandelier here, which moves back and forth, which is a nice touch. You have the second floor here with one seat, and then a driver's seat here. And, I don't know if you can see it very well. But yeah, in there, that is the shrunken head from the movie. Um, there's its face print. Very cool face print. That could be co come in handy eventually. Um... Some cool stickers here, sticker here and here, sticker, night bus sticker, all destinations and all destination sticker. And this is where Sean, this is where Stan's Sean Pike would come out of here and welcome Harry when they uh, meet him. And so yeah, so that's it for the set. So let's take a look at the instructions. Right. So here are the instructions for the set. Um. And in the back, we have the part list there, and then behind that, we have a Lego Life advertisement, again, generic one. Then there's the Harry Potter theme, a new wave over here, all the sets here, we got all of them. I'm gonna build some more after this one. And not all the old wave, but um, a few sets from the old wave to make, uh, well, the sets needed to make the castle from the old wave. Plus, the new Hogwarts Clock Tower set, 
which I currently have sitting right next to me, um, that you can connect to the castle. You can make one big long castle. Once I build a clock tower, I can connect the rest of the it to the rest of it because I do have the rest of it um, that you can see right over there. But yeah, so um, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like.